Greetings and salutations YouTube. My name is Echi Char and today we will be doing a requested video on the Prince of Blood. So here we go. The Prince class is one of the two destroyer classes of Homestuck, the active counterpart to the Bard, and the inverse of the Sylph. Princes destroy their aspect and destroy through their aspect. Like how Aridin destroyed Hope through Hope by, you know, destroying the Matri Orb with his white magic. And how Dirk basically destroys the souls of his enemies by ripping them, by ripping the souls out of their body. Princes also ghost their aspect. So they act like the inverse of their aspect. And princes usually are kind of possibly a bit arrogant and pessimistic. So they need to learn how to chill with that and not be as, you know, pessimistic and arrogant. The blood aspect is the inverse of breath and has to do with bonds, ties, relationships, being grounded, responsibilities, connections, and blood itself. Blood players... Hmm. Oh, and possibly flush as well. Blood players usually have a natural capacity for being leaders, but that doesn't mean they'll be like the perfect leader right off the bat. They need to learn how to grow into that role. It's just that, as a blood player, they have the natural potential to be a leader. Now for the Prince of Blood, as a whole. The Prince of Blood is the inverse of the Sylph of Breath, and would ghost Breath by being apathetic... apathetic, distant and being extremely independent. They would, their attitude, their possibly sociopathic attitude would lead them to basically destroying their friendships and, you know, relationships in general that they have with others and possibly destroy relationships that others have with their friends and significant others and other such. Now, for their powers, which are kind of scary and awesome at the same time, a Prince of Blood would be able to literally destroy blood and flesh through physical contact, you know, just like Kind of like the Knight of Doom's death touch, but possibly way more gory. And they would be able to tear through the flesh of their enemies by twisting and distorting their bodies into, like, blades and other such horribly awesome disfigurations. Like, kind of like, t like twisting and distorting their arm into this giant freaking blade thing. I don't know, it just sounds freaking awesome just imagining it. And let's see. they would also po probably be able to do something like the Red Miles, but with blood, and that it, and that the prince would be able to control it. It wouldn't just, you know, just home in on the enemy by itself. He would have to control it, so that there would probably also be a certain limit to how far he can reach, and it also wouldn't be able to probably wouldn't be strong enough to, you know, destroy a whole universe or break through a universe to go into another universe. Hmm. And that probably sounds really OP and scary and it's just awesome. So, yeah. And, um, they would also probably be borderline animalistic in combat ripping and tearing through through their enemies and anyone who got in their way, ally or enemy. So, with the mention of blood and gore out of the way, I believe that's all I have to say on the Prince of Blood. If you like this video, please be sure to like and share it, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more such videos.
And also, I would like to say thank you guys so much because now I have finally reached 10 subscribers on YouTube. Again, thank you guys so much. Let's hope that you guys don't get tired of me and that we can keep increasing in subscribers. So with that, I bid you dudes, dudettes, and others adieu. Bye!